what keeps you going today? Like you've been, well, how long you been with SmartNet since you made I've, the jump? 18 months with and SmartNet. I've been in this industry, this industry yeah. specifically for almost four years. And then I've been working for eight years total. But you said yes instantly to the SmartNet job 18 months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're just as passionate today, or maybe more yeah. than when you started. You know, what keeps you going? One is I do believe that Climate change is real. Even in our own community, we had 60 homes washed out by the Gatineau River. That does happen every once every 100 years, but with climate change, I do believe that's gonna start happening more often. So I believe that you can't just dig up carbon from underground and then throw it in the atmosphere and expect things not to change. The carbon cycle has always been above the ground. Mm -hmm. And what we've been doing for the last 100 years is adding all of this additional carbon that's below the ground into the air. So that's gonna throw things off, right? Number one thing is I look to my great grandkids or grandkids when either 50 or 60 years from now, when they ask me, Paul, when you are in this pivotal time in humanity and the planet, and I, I, I'm, I'm an optimist, so I'm hoping that, you know, everyone's happy and it's not an <laughs> apocalyptic wasteland yeah. <laughs> uh, 60 years from now. So I'm picturing, you know, in their nice net zero home driving their electric car. But they say, what were you doing in that point and, uh, in time? And so that's what motivates me is I was doing everything I possibly could. And that's my number one thing. My number two thing, actually, this morning I woke up and I've been, we've been working on this event and I've been running around uh, with all sorts of different board meetings and trying to get all these things off the ground. And I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I am tired. I am feel like crap, I'm a little sick. I don't want to do this I don't interview. want to do this interview. <laughs> well, no, actually, I, I did want to do this interview with you. Um, and I was just, I, I literally had the thought this morning of, is it all worth it? And the reason that that thought popped into my head is we were at our meeting and we we're putting together this thing called, it's a commitment, uh, I think it's building a better future. I, I can't remember what they called it, but we have these blocks. And when you come into the event, you're going to get a block with a number and your name on it. And you're going to carry that block with you throughout the event. And at the end, what we want people to do is write on the block what they're going to commit to do to reduce their carbon footprint and then build a, a structure. And I was hearing about Angela and we've been talking about carbon emissions a lot in this group because we're very passionate about it. And she's like, I was driving around on Kijiji and I was putting all this extra carbon into the atmosphere. Uh, and I was thinking, I was like, is it worth it? But then I thought about it and I looked at the numbers. And so she drove around 100 kilometers, which is about 25 kilograms of CO2 to get these blocks. But then I thought if one person is on the fence at that event about whether or not they want to go to an air source heat pump or not, and that block and that act of writing the commitment is the difference between them doing it and not doing it, and they do do it, then that one block just reduced Canada's carbon emissions by up to, depending on your house, five tons per year yeah. for the next 20 to 30 years. That's so I love how you reframe that. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I realized, I was like, it is worth it. And every little thing, every smile, every handshake, every presentation, every, every little thing could be that one difference between whether someone does something or doesn't do something. And I guess that's the second reason why I get up every day and I use, you know, when I'm just have not even an ounce of strength left in me, I do it because I realize that I have to, the world and future generations depend on it. Mm -hmm. And it's not for me, it's for the rest of the world. The world was in your classroom and you had one lesson to teach to everybody and everyone was gonna see it. Uh, what would the title of that lesson be? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. So if the world was in my classroom, what would I want to teach them? And if the title of my class, it's easier than you think. I think that would be the title of my class. It really just takes one easy commitment. And here's a simple one is just reducing beef in your diet. And again, that's looking at carbon numbers. You could reduce your diets carbon, uh, carbon by half, just by at least half by, by cutting beef out of your diet. That, you don't have to go vegetarian. You don't have to, I'm not gonna be preaching Just don't eat it every day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, and I'm not gonna preach about being a vegetarian or being a vegan. I'm a vegetarian, but I don't say I, I don't, 
identify as a vegetarian, I say, I practice vegetarianism because it's like meditation or running. It's if I fail, sometimes I'll eat meat. Yeah. And I say, you know what, if I fail, I'm going to just try again tomorrow. Yeah. Right. And if I eat meat, I guess my, the title of my thing would be, it's easier than you think and you can do something. So. That'd be a good, good title for a class, actually. I'll take that class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone will be signing yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> How can people get a hold of you if they want to reach out or if they have a business, they want to connect with SmartNet, uh, what's the best way to either connect with you or... Go to our website, www.smartnetalliance.ca. Uh, you can find the contact us information. I'd say that's the easiest way. Just info at smartnetalliance.ca if you want to reach out. Uh, so we have the Smart SmartNet Alliance uh, Facebook page, so SmartNet Alliance. We have a Twitter, uh, SmartNet, Alli or SmartNet All just because we can get all the lines. Uh, the Twitter handles don't allow us. LinkedIn, you can find me on LinkedIn, Paul Cairns. That's how you can reach out to me. And please just show up to Green Drinks, I think, if you're from Ottawa. It's and you're not even just in Ottawa either, right? So there's Green Drinks in other Yeah, there's one in Durham. Uh, we're trying to get, well, Green Drinks is all across the world and we just uh, help facilitate. But yeah, I would say the best way to really get a hold of me is come and get out and participate. You know, don't stand behind your computer. Get out, meet people. We all share this passion and we can all do wonderful things together. Yeah. Thanks so much, Paul. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. you. <laughs> Have a good one.